seller. I'm here with a pick a card reading as always. <laughs> and in this reading, we're going to be looking at upcoming blessings that are coming fairly quickly. So I'd like to say for the majority of you, you can expect these blessings within the next month. Now, of course, that may not be true for all of you. This is a general reading, but I am asking for quick kind of, you know, <laughs> quick kind of messages um, uh, that are kind of forthcoming, you know, sooner rather than later <laughs> so not far off blessings so yeah we have six different groups to choose from we have group number one two three four five and six you are welcome to choose more than one if you're feeling drawn to more than one that's totally cool and you are able to watch this at any time that you feel drawn so whether it's a year from now five years from now it's next week it doesn't really matter um, as to when you find this reading it can have a message for you so that's the beauty of pick a cards you know we set that intention to sort of make it a timeless thing so yeah uh what else did i want to say um you know if you're finding that the group is not speaking to you by any means like you're like no way this doesn't seem either it's something that you're just not seeing as a possibility yet or you might have drawn the wrong the wrong group so you know if you are finding that you're not really getting the right messages for yourself one thing that you could do is clear your mind um, maybe do a meditation of some kind or a cleansing um, you might take a step back or again sometimes it's not that the readings for you at the time um, you know it might be for you in the future so just something to think about you know in terms of accuracy when you're kind of doing these readings but um yeah that's what i have to say i, I want to thank you all so much for your support your love your kindness um personal readings are on etsy as as always and so if you're interested in those you can go there and yeah i will leave it here and we'll go ahead and get in the reading Hello friends, so if you chose group number one here with this beautiful flower spirit card, this is going to be your reading. So, you know, the, the top card actually for me was going to represent sort of a message to you, to whoever's watching this at this time. So the flower spirit is about gentleness. So having a gentle demeanor, being delicate, it can also represent friendship as well. And so this could be that a lot of the blessings are going to come via friendship or by embracing a gentle demeanor. As an example, it could also, of course, speak that flowers could be relevant somehow in the blessing. So it might be that when you receive this sort of blessing um, environment, you have flowers around you, or maybe you're gonna, some of you might even get or receive flowers, actually. But yeah, there's a message here to um, sort of embrace the delicacy of your life and, you know, don't feel like you know, one thing I would say here as a kind of a channeled message for you is that sometimes we feel quite weak or delicate, but you're actually being told you're quite strong. Think about how much flowers endure uh, rain, heavy rains and stuff like that. And yes, they're delicate, yet they still manage to sort of bloom and blossom most of the time. And so, yeah, there's that kind of message, I think, overall for you. So what blessings are coming in? We have this card right here so this intuitive card so this could be a healing of some kind this could also be a supportive person coming into your life actually somebody who's going to kind of mend your wounds some of you might be called to do that to somebody else you could actually be a blessing to somebody else you might be able to tend someone's wounds maybe it's someone younger for you um, where you can be a blessing in their life we have heartache over what you no longer have and goldfish increase in material wealth or spiritual growth I have to say that I do feel like quite a few of you must have had some sort of damage um, in your life recently where maybe you felt hurt or maybe you're lacking something in your life um, you've been through something but you've actually remained quite strong I do feel like for a lot of you some sort of difficult situation is actually making you spiritually stronger and wiser as well that's one thing I'm really feeling like that's coming through um, here. So yeah, we have an increase in material wealth as well, possibly. So it could be that if you have had trouble with your finances, and that's something that's really concerning you at the moment, that could be the blessing, is that you're going to have some sort of increase in your material um, wealth, literally. Okay, so um, there's that. Um, but also spiritual growth, I think for some of you might have new spiritual experiences that are going to be a blessing to you. You might get a sign that is really 
confirming something for you spiritually or enlightening you in some way. So let's find out a little bit more blessings coming towards group number one. Okay, we've got the Knight of Swords. Okay, yours is coming in quite quickly, I have to say. I do feel like there could be a factor here with another person or some sort of communication. So I, I think that that's quite likely for a lot of you. Wow. Okay, so for those of you that have been struggling with finances, there are going to be quick improvements here. So you might find that you're getting more um, more work, more orders. There could be some sort of um, news coming in regards to like where you've been feeling impoverished in your life. Now, if it's not finances, this could also be kind of forthcoming news that's related to sort of some sort of insecurity or where you've been feeling kind of downtrodden in your life. Uh, I definitely see that coming in. Very nice. So, yeah, <laughs> I love this. Love this. I think I definitely see a lot of you kind of tackling something or it's being tackled for you. Now, let's see. So we've got the Ace of Pentacles, a windfall of abundance, wise control, or good fortune, an exciting career opportunity, a lucrative contract, significant purchases like a home or vehicle. Wow. Okay, so there we go. For some of you, that's that's it could be related there. But I love that we have that pentacle energy right here, an Ace of Pentacles. So some sort of offers coming in of some kind. Now, again, that could be an increase in work, a new job, or you know, something kind of coming in. It could be a gift of some kind. Somebody's giving you something material um, as well. Look at the flowers. That's so funny. Not all of them have flowers, by the way, like no flowers, no flowers, no flowers. And we have flowers showing up. So again, this kind of indicates something to me. There must be something. Maybe the person who comes in has a tattoo of a flower or maybe there's like, I don't know, flowers around or something like that. Um, that's quite again flowers to me I think represent that you guys are quite strong and beautiful that's a message here but you'll also be sort of rewarded in some way appreciated as well I think flowers are often given as a gift of appreciation so again I think that there's something coming in that's going to show you you're appreciated supported um, for a lot of you I think this is going to be financial actually but it could be spiritual as well you might have the physical manifestation of something spiritual so you might have a spiritual experience that's quite physical you know like maybe a touch or something like more in the realm of reality rather than just a thought or a feeling it feels like something would manifest physically for you in some way so that's uh it's going to kind of go between both of those but it might be very comforting for you in some way um it feels like it's kind of healing in some way so whatever you've been feeling really like that insecure energy especially where you've been feeling a little bit like I said downtrodden or difficult um, that's where you're getting that improvement so very beautiful reading for you guys group number one I love this <laughs> so I hope that this reading was insightful I'm keeping it kind of short and sweet I'm doing more piles in this groups so, I mean in this reading so I want to make sure each group you know I'll get through each one because I think it's more I think it's fun to have different stories and different you know different possibilities more choices so I'm gonna do it that way this reading but hopefully you liked it let me know in the comments below if you did and uh, I want to hear from you if I can even if it's just a simple hello um, but yeah take care of yourselves and I'll see you on the next reading Hey friends, so if you chose group number two, this is your reading. <laughs> I actually tried to just film this one and I dropped like the card flew out of my hands onto the floor. So that's quite interesting uh, in terms of like maybe a synchronicity or a sign in regards to what you guys are going through. So maybe you feel like a little bit out of control sometimes or like something sort of like falling off the table for you. <laughs> As an example, we have the gardener and it's interesting because her skirt is a home. And uh, this card talks about non-judgment, acceptance, and self-compassion. Now, this card on the top was kind of um, taken with the intention of giving you a message you need to hear. So I'm going to go ahead and read that for you before we begin. Standing proud in a lush green garden, a woman holds a growing bulb in her arms. Two small houses spring from the plant, and her skirt is transformed into a house. 
She is the gardener of her soul, the caretaker of her home. Her feelings are the flowers of her garden. By taking care of herself, she keeps growing stronger. But sometimes uninvited guests invade the garden, intruders like jealousy or shame. If we recognize these as neither good nor bad, but something to be investigated and accepted, we can treat ourselves with compassion and keep blooming. That's interesting. So I do wonder if some of you have some sort of intruders in your own garden uh, in some way, shape, or form. Maybe, you know, negative feelings that kind of come in or negative circumstances. But here we have, you know, the idea that resilience um, will pay off. That That's something important. Yeah, look at that. So that's interesting that the card flew off the table and I had forgotten what was in this group at all actually. And uh, we have a girl that's kind of like hanging barely on. So it might feel that some of you are, maybe you feel at your wits end with something or you feel like right on the edge, like you might drop down at any second. Um, if there are feelings of insecurity, you know, that might be a message to you that there is a spiritual guidance for you to reach out to. Now we have here temporary problems dog barking and success clouds yeah clouds are representing temporary problems then we have advice from a friend and we have success so here i think one of the blessings that you're receiving soon is some sort of problem that you've been facing wherever that is and i think it's important when we when we listen to pick a card readings to see what did what what comes to your mind when i say your your temporary problems or your problems recently that's the key here, is that your mind, your intuition is going to react. Is it been a problem with the relationship? Has it been a problem with isolation? Has it been a problem? Whatever has been your problem, um, that's going to be where you're gonna see that sort of improvement here. So that's, what we're saying is that there's a temporary problem. It's just a temporary storm that you're going through right now. So whatever's been bugging you lately, the blessing is, is that there's success to be found in the situation. You are not at the end of the road here. You are not um, being let go of by spirit, by higher forces in any way. You um, are very much supported. Look to the advice from a friend because there could be somebody who comes in with some wonderful advice for you. So I think that you do well to listen to that advice if you can. Um, I think someone could encourage you. Now remember, don't let intruders of negativity into your garden bring in, you know, intruders of <laughs> positivity. So remember that, you know what I mean? I do feel like that there is some sort of advice though and a helping hand that's gonna come in for you guys. And that's part of the blessing here. And the other blessing being that it's temporary, like whatever you're kind of going through. So we have the moon. Listen to your intuition and pay attention to signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears. Revelations that will make everything clear. Whoa. Okay, there we go. And think about it in terms of the clouds. The clouds can kind of obscure um, the direction in some way or what, what's out there, but it's temporary. Then the sky becomes clear and we can see farther as an example. So wherever you've been feeling a little bit confused, a little bit unclear, maybe you feel like that there's no hope in a situation, there is, okay? And again, that unnecessary worry coming in with the moon, again, it's temporary. So whatever you're going through at this moment, guys, that you're listening and you're like, yes, I am going through something, you're being told that this is going to clear up. Okay. Look at that. Two of cups. Falling in love are the resurgence of a romantic relationship. Forgiveness and the ending of challenges. Exchanging gifts. Do not give up on people you love. Wow. So for some of you, this might come in terms of a relationship. Some of you. if it, For those of you especially who are like, man, I feel like I'm you know, like love is hopeless or relationships are hopeless or a certain relationship. This could tell you that, you know, the right person's coming in or that things will be restored between you and another. Um, any sort of problems you're experiencing could be temporary in nature. You know what I mean? The connection's there. Again, this could be about that person um, that really cares about you giving you advice in some way that will help kind of restore some sort of hope or give you some sort of clarity as well. So I think that's also highlighting that relationship here could be important, um, whether it's romantic or not, by the way. Let's see, anything further here? We have the Page of Wands. Enthusiastic, optimistic, creative, and patient. News of exciting opportunities, allowing your creativity to soar. Do things that fuel your passions and finish what you start. Ooh, okay. So again, there could be a message here that you guys should finish something that you started on. 
okay that could be something and that it will bring blessings so that's one thing too if you feel like you're not sure whether you want to finish something that could be a specific message some of you might be like should I even bother should I even do this I don't know it doesn't seem like it's going anywhere or something um, I would say do it finish it um, don't let your dreams just be dreams um, <laughs> but yeah that's, that's kind of what I'm getting here I, I do feel like um, definitely pay attention to a good friend in the near future um, somebody and what I mean by good friend it may not be somebody who's very close to you even it could be somebody that has very a good heart good intentions an encouraging mindset that will sort of guide you in some way okay or have some sort of advice that you should follow and act upon okay so that's what I'm seeing here for you guys that chose group number two I hope you enjoyed this reading let me know in the comments below what you thought and I'm sending you all lots of love and light blessings and abundance and I hope to see you all in the future take care Hello, my friends. So if you chose group number three here with this card here, the observer, this is your reading. So you've been drawn to this image and this card was actually taken as some sort of message from spirit for you. For those of you that chose this group, um, a message that you guys need to hear. So we have the observer, which um, represents patience, awareness, and focus. It says a woman is looking through an old fashioned camera, ready to take a photograph. She observes the landscape before her, all is quiet and all is peaceful. We do not know how long this woman has been waiting for the perfect shot. She has the patience to remain focused until the decisive moment presents itself. Strength lies in her calmness. She lives in the present and does not easily get distracted. That's quite an interesting message. So of course you might be called upon to have patience. Um, and I feel like for some of you this blessing actually involves something that takes patience or has taken patience from you but let's see so we've got the this uh, particular card here it reminds me of the cat's cradle type of thing but it's it's definitely something complicated something um with a lot of different pathways a lot of different um i feel like it's complicated that's the word i'm getting it's complicated okay and then we have this girl reaching for the stars as well we have marriage and caterpillar <laughs> So guys, the I think this might be the group um, where there is a strong focus on relationship, okay? So whether or not you are in one or not, I think that there has to be some sort of blessing coming in that way. So whether you're with somebody, you know, and you already have a marriage or some sort of partnership, this could mean that there is hope um, to complicated situations. Um, this can also represent the idea that you know, if you felt like your love life is complicated and you feel like it's so out of reach. Because look at the little girl. She's like reaching up for the stars, but she can't quite grab one. <laughs> She's got some already. But yeah, it could be that that person's right out there, especially for those of you that are yearning for some sort of partner in your life. That could be the blessing that's coming in. Now, again, like I said, for those of you that have partnership already, this could be like things are increasing. Some things are, are changing. If you've had difficulty, we have the caterpillar here, which says things will not always be this way and a change is coming. So I do see some sort of transformation in like um, some sort of stable, like in, in regards to a stable relationship, whether you're going to receive one as an example or you're going to fix an existing relationship. So I see some something kind of going well here. Um, I do want to say I feel like long-term energy here as well, not just because of the marriage card, but also that observer and as well the stars, uh, that star stars here really reminds me of something that you're reaching for that has like long-term potential. Again, the caterpillar too. Uh, it kind of gives me that vibe as well. So I have to say for a lot of you, the blessings coming in love in romantic relationships. So not familial love so much, um, but more romantic. So group number six. We have the seven of wands. So there could be an astrological influencing you, like an astrological influence on you right now as well. Like maybe that's affecting a relationship in some way. Okay. 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 We got three cards. Hold on. Let me see what fell down. 
Okay, so we've got the Seven of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. So I definitely see uh, possibly a couple or some sort of something here, two court cards, right? So we have as well the Seven of Wands. Now the Seven of Wands says stand up for yourself and your beliefs. Have confidence, challenge those in power, but also choose your battles wisely. So sometimes that Seven of Wands can talk about when we feel like we've been at odds with something. <laughs> Maybe you feel like you've had to fight for love or fight in your connection in some way or stand up for yourself. I think that there's definitely some sort of improvement here. We have the Queen of Wands, brilliant, talented, independent, controlling. There's nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and personal life interesting so for some of you that might be ironing out if you have felt like you're quite um, at odds as an example I think there are probably at least a few of you here that might have you know work versus relationship issues as well maybe it's hard to balance the two and that could be improving in some way but I think that's probably only for a few of you we have the page of Pentacles which talks about scholarly cheerful dependable mischievous time to get to work an excellent opportunity presents itself happy news about your career promotions or scholarships and a new area of study so that's interesting too this could be something in regards to some sort of partner um, as well like maybe a partner or a marriage partner for some of you is going to have a change in their life um, as well so um, I think this is quite nice I feel like you guys will probably individually know what this means for you in regards to relationship. Like again, some of you might have a partner who's going to have a career change or um, maybe something complicated in that way in regards to something that affects the both of you as a partnership um, could be happening, okay? So that could be a blessing for some of you. And uh, for others of you, again, like this could be calling that partner in, uh, a new partner, and somebody who's like quite loyal and um, admirable. And uh, for others of you, like I said, this could be kind of ironing things out. Maybe there's a, a message coming forth that's going to be a little bit more stable and grounded as well. Maybe if there's been some sort of trouble or difficulty as well. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm seeing. I see, essentially, I think we could iron this down and make it pretty um, straightforward and say that there's some sort of improvement in a partnership. <laughs> so again, if you don't have one, you're getting one. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? If you already have one, that it's just things are going smoothly or your partner as well could be receiving something that therefore, you know, influences you as well, right? Because sometimes, you know, we are, you know, when we're in a partnership as an example, our, you know, what, what's happening to each other affects affects each other, <laughs> right? So yeah, I, that's what I'm seeing here. So I, I hope this was an interesting reading for you guys and I hope it's something you're looking forward to. But um, I wish you the very, very best and take care of your yourselves and lots of love. Hello my friends. So what is your next blessing? Welcome to your reading. Let's find out. So we have this card. So you've chosen this card in particular, which is beautiful imagery, isn't it? Oh, I just love it. I love this deck. It's a beautiful one. This is the Oracle of Mystical Moments, okay? So if you're curious, all my deck information is always below anyway. So we have Can You Hear Me? And I'm going to go ahead and read this card. This is more so a message to you right now from Spirit, okay? So I asked for this card to kind of represent what you need to know right now. And we'll see how it ties into the rest of the reading. So we have A Woman Floats in a Seashell on the Big Sea. She looks to the horizon as, she, as if she's waiting for somebody. She is holding a trumpet in her hand, ready to blow it when the time comes. The ocean symbolizes her feelings, vast and seemingly unknowable. It surrounds her in an endless arc. She looks lonely and deserted, but she has a way of connecting, a tool for turning passive silence into supportive communication. She just needs to raise her trumpet and call for help. So as you can see, the card's called Can You Hear Me? And there's loneliness, cry for help, and communication as keywords. So again, this could represent that you're not alone. This could be a message for you to call out to, to people, um, to, to kind of aid you as an example, not to get lost in your own feelings. I think this probably could tie into some sort of communication coming in though, but let's kind of keep continuing going here. So we have that one, can you hear me? We also have this family that's kind of gathered around a story. So I do feel like some sort of emphasis here on innocence, because you can see all the childhood toys there at the bottom and sort of like a family moment. So it reminds me a lot of innocence in some way and uh, comfort. We have unsuccessful plans, changes in your life and time to go out and have fun. So here, 
is what's coming for you. <laughs> well, if you feel like something has been unsuccessful, I do feel like you should call out for help. I think there's some sort of advice coming through here as well. I do feel like there's some sort of creative energy here that needs to be expressed. I could see a lot of you having more comfort around you as a blessing soon as well as some sort of overall emotional change. I think I need to dig a little bit deeper into this one for sure. So group number four, what kind of blessing is coming towards him soon? I kind of felt that possibly. Okay. Some of you might be re revisiting something from your childhood. If you've been stuck in your inspiration or your creativity, I want to say that looking towards childhood or doing something comforting might be helpful, okay? Or being around family or people that are like close to you in some way, like family. You know, family isn't always our blood relatives. I'm not, I'm aware of that. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, we have the Three of Pentacles, the Chariot, Release, and the Seven of Cups. Interesting. There's some sort of movement and beginning that's coming. I feel like there's some sort of possible collaboration as well. I do feel like out of all of the groups that I've seen thus far though, there is a little bit of your intention that's important here. Um, you might need to make sure that you're taking advantage of opportunities, okay? That you are... And there's another message here about kind of focusing on one thing right now. I think that might be important for you to kind of delve into one thing in particular and master it. I don't know why that's coming through. Maybe it's a message that some of you need to hear. Maybe you're kind of distracted by a lot of different opportunities or ideas. Maybe it's like focus on this one thing and you'll get a blessing from it. So I feel almost like sort of a spiritual message coming through um, as well, like for sure on that. Um, so the Three of Pentacles can talk about recognition for the highest quality of work, especially creative endeavors, being paid for your craft, working well with others, and an excellent reputation. So some of you might find that if your reputation, if you do feel like in some way you've been unheard in your career, as an example, that could be a turning point for you. Um, there could be some sort of turning point where you feel more recognized, more seen, more visible, as an example. I could also see... Um, some sort of teamwork effort coming in as well. You might have somebody from your soul tribe coming in in some way that will sort of direct you in, in a way. Or there might be some sort of opportunity with some sort of soul member of your like soul tribe or soul family, that sort of that sort of vibe is what I'm getting. So I, I definitely think I see that, especially if you've been calling out for that. One thing, I feel like you've been calling out for something in your life, comfort, maybe it's stability in the home as an example, travel, or getting out of the house as an example too, or changing homes. I feel like these are types of things also that could be kind of accomplished here. Um, there also could be forward movements with the education or something, a childhood dream is what I'm picking up. I feel like quite a few messages in this one as well. So I'll, I'll just note that for you guys. But there's something I feel like that's been unsuccessful for you. And there's definitely a strong, strong, strong message for you guys that have had that, that um, there needs to be focus and that things will change. Like keep working on it, keep persevering. On the chariot, it says, rewards that come from hard work, successfully balancing many priorities at once, determination and willpower, public recognition. So we have like two that kind of talk about reputation and recognition. So I do feel like that there is something there, especially for those of you that have felt unheard, invisible, or maybe somehow you're not connecting. Um, as an example, there could be some sort of expansion on that um, in your life. So, which would provide some sort of new beginning or transformation, okay? Now, I do think that you're releasing a lot of baggage here in the near future as well. For those of you that have had lack of clear direction, that's what's going to be a blessing, okay? Um, if you've been feeling like you don't know what the hell you're doing with your life or, what, or with a specific situation, I think there could be some sort of clarity that comes in to provide some sort of new beginning. So yeah, this is an interesting one. I feel like it's quite vast. So I'm guessing probably a lot of people will pick this group, <laughs> okay? Um, but essentially, 
I think for some of you there's like a collaboration coming in um, possibly that could help move you forward or somebody noticing you it definitely there does seem some sort of focus on the reputation of somebody I would want to say that I see some sort of improvement as well perhaps in the home or the family because we also have changes in your life as well and with the moon here um, that can represent to me family okay but you know what's interesting it also represents to me nostalgia and we have that family there as well so there might be something nostalgic coming towards you um, possibly <laughs> and maybe that's a blessing maybe it's like something from your childhood comes back and you're like oh my gosh I haven't had one of these in forever or there's some sort of renewed interest in something that's from the childhood again of course that card could represent um, our dreams and sort of like that sort of that sort of vibe you know because there's that fantasy aspect there the toys on the ground it's like acting out our fantasy in some way so I think that there could be you know it's gonna work a little bit differently for you guys but I feel like that's sort of the gist of it essentially for some of you there's some sort of public recognition someone hearing you if that's the biggest one I feel here is that you're gonna get something like a recognition or a popularity or you're seen or recognized in some way which will be quite nice for you and again I feel like there might be a lot of opportunities to get out and have fun as well. That's another thing. So, yeah. Anyway, that's what I'm seeing for those of you that chose group number four. I thank you for being here. I hope that this reading provided you with some excitement for your future. And I wish you the very, very best. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you all in the next reading. Hello my friends. So if you've chosen group number five, this is going to be your reading. So you've chosen this change of seasons card, which oh, is so pretty. What a beautiful card, isn't it? I love the mystical moments oracle. So this card talks about transformation, life's ups and downs, and development. Now I, I actually intended this card to kind of be a message to those watching this in regards to something they need to know about. So this card says, in the center of this card stands a woman surrounded by blowing leaves, flowers, and snowflakes. As the wind blows them swirling up to her, she raises an arm in protection or welcome. We're not sure. This card reminds us that seasons change just as we do. Nothing is ever still, not a river, nor even the mighty oak, and certainly not us. We are in a constant state of transformation. Even when we feel overwhelmed, it can be, it, we, if we can just quietly be, we'll be moving in spite of ourselves. When life rolls around us, let us let the certainty of the cycle of seasons be a grounding force. So this is about change. And uh, I think for a lot of you, there might be a specific message in here that life's changing for you right now. And if things feel sometimes out of sorts, you know, as the seasons change, we notice like ups and downs and weird, weird patterns and weird things. I think that you guys are told to kind of remain, remain calm you know <laughs> remain calm uh, the other thing I really feel like here is that there is constant m motion right there is there are periods of stillness but I think that if you feel like something's been lacking if something's been stuck we might see an energy shifting forward so where movements coming I keep getting the vision of the river and but like a dam you know it's like when something falls in and blocks the flow and it's like eventually the water is strong enough to sort of break it break through and make it happen so that's something I'm really feeling strongly for you guys so you might have a breakthrough of some kind as well something that will kind of lead you into maybe a new season we have here <laughs> this chaotic card <laughs> she's on a, a horse that she's kind of lost the control of so that's so interesting I'm sorry about my dog he's come down to to check things out uh, he was guarding the window just a few minutes ago uh, so there's that sort of chaotic energy which is quite interesting as well so I feel like some of you might feel like chaotic in some way or like something's chaotic in your life now we have here casket shield and flag Wow okay so casket can talk about someone going out of your life or the end of a situation the shield talks about needing to defend yourself and the flag about not lowering your standards. It's almost like you guys are getting a specific message not to lower your standards in some way. Uh, that you need to kind of block something out that's chaotic. It's almost like we're not even talking about a blessing here. We're talking about some sort of advice. 
uh, I will definitely keep trying to read for the blessing, but I do wonder if a blessing is blocked because of this, or there's something that wants to come through for you, but you have to let it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we are closing the door on new opportunities because we're clinging to something old. For some of you, that could be the case. You're not letting something go in order to invite something new. But this would not be... This would be something that you guys would know intuitively is true. So if that doesn't resonate with you, it's certainly not your reading. And I would probably go pick a different pile. But um, let's see here. What blessing is coming in for group number five? Let's check. Those are drawn in the What kind of blessing? We've got the Ace of Pentacles. I'll pick it off the floor in a minute. Okay, we've got the Queen of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. There's that Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> so, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. Well, I think it's fascinating that we have an Ace and a Page because these both kind of talk to me about something new. And it's something grounded and something re in reality. So, I can see new work opportunities for some of you. I could see something coming in that's quite stable and passionate if you feel like a lot of things are coming into your life and they just leave very quickly no matter what it is in your life whether it's a relationships or friendships or whatever's came can that's felt chaotic to you or it's like you can't control it it just seems like fate's knocking you down or or it's like it never works out that way um that's where i'm feeling like you're gonna have this sort of stable energy come in so you know as a listener you know, in the recipient of this reading, I want you to look at your own intuition and see what comes to your mind when I say that. What's chaotic for you? What what feels like it's not in your control? What it, what feels like it's ending and you don't want it to? It's like when summer's ending and you're like, I don't want this to end. Uh, maybe there's, a, you know, that message that a certain a ending is a blessing for you. You know, if you're, you've recently quit a job, as an example, and you're questioning whether that was good. Maybe that's telling you, yes, it was. Things might seem chaotic. You might feel like you made a mess of it. But you're, you're taken care of. You're going to find new opportunities. You know what I mean? I think it's going to come in different for each of you. But there's a chapter, I think, that needs to end. Like, it's okay. Like, you're being told it's fine. <laughs> so whether that's like... Maybe you quit a job to start something else and you're like, oh shit, now I'm a mess and like nothing's going right or I feel like it's chaotic or it's scary. And maybe some of you are thinking about this. And it, there is some sort of message here, I feel like, where you guys are being told that um, you have to let go a little bit, I think. Not let go, but like let go of something in order for the blessing to come in. So it does feel kind of specific in that way. <clears throat> and maybe some of you have already done this in some way right like you've already kind of let go of something and again if you felt like that was a chaotic choice or things have been a little bit crazy since i think there will be a sense of like um a sense of stability coming in in whatever that may be okay so group number five blessings what blessing is coming their way triple moon embracing all aspects of yourself the divine and the earthly Oh, that's so interesting because we have that sort of earthly aspect too. So maybe some of you have been acting on intuition and you will see some sort of physical manifestation of that. We have healing feminine energy as well. And Philosopher's Stone, powerful manifestation of wishes or goals by harnessing universal energy. Yeah, I feel like for some of you this blessing is a manifestation. So something ended or will end, but something new is coming that's way more stable, way more secure, something that's amazing. I feel like some of you might have new career opportunities, to be honest, or like new opportunities to study something or learn something as well. I do feel that, but there is a sense of security coming in and that's really important. So like I said, for the majority of you, really, honestly, where you've been feeling kind of like bucked off almost from life, like you're having to hold on tight, um, like you feel like you don't have any control, you don't feel like you can change anything, maybe you feel like somehow it's like guided, you know, beyond you, like you're just like, why is this all happening? I feel like that's where the energy of stability is coming in. So whether that's career relationship or, or whatnot. You know, these are general readings, so everyone's kind of going through something different. And uh, But there is some sort of powerful manifestations coming through, and they're physical manifestations. I do feel like, for the majority of you, this is something financial or career-oriented, though. 
um, <clears throat> rather than anything. But um, that's just my my vibe, you know what I mean? It could be, again, for a few of you, maybe relationship-based or something like that, too. I could see maybe a new friend coming in. And I would pay attention to people in your life as well because we do have two court cards here. So, again, a lot of your blessings might come via some sort of friendship or relationship in the future anyway or some sort of opportunity via another person. So that's what I'm seeing here for you guys that chose group number five. I hope it was interesting for you. Let me know how you felt about the reading. Hopefully you know what it is. If you want to share it in the comments below, of course, I'm not opposed. I know sometimes you don't want to share your personal stuff, and that's okay too. But um, yeah, in case you do, you're welcome. And I, I love to read the comments. I read them all. But um, wish you all the very, very best. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you on the next reading. Hello, my friends. So if you've chosen this card, Night Ride, this is your reading. Oh, what a beautiful card. I just love the colors in this deck. Oh, it's just pretty. <laughs> it's just pretty. It's just pretty. So this is the Oracle of Mystical Moments, and I'm going to go ahead and look at this card. So this is a card that's meant to sort of act as a guidance to you at this time. So anyone who's watching this group, this is like what Spirit wants you to know, essentially. And we have Night Ride, which represents a protector, wonder in the night, big brother, or friendship. So an elephant transports two owls on his back, a mother with her young bird child. Protectively, she has folded her wing over the young owl's head. The elephant rides through the night, blowing stars up into the sky through his trunk. Connected with magic and wonder, the elephant is a protector, a strong shoulder to lean on in all times. Even during dark times, you can feel safe and secure beside him. So, such a beautiful card here, telling you that there's an energy around you, first of all, that's very supportive. But I think this also could play into the prediction a bit of what's coming towards you. This could be something happening. You know, Big Brother is mentioned there, so maybe a Big Brother will have a sort of, like somehow a key in this. Maybe a brother will get a blessing. But I think also this could indicate like wise friendship coming into play. Some of you who've been wanting a mentor of some kind might find that in somebody. That's another possibility. And some of you might have improvement with your own child, okay? And that could be a blessing or your, uh, an improvement of the life of your child. We have here this beautiful energy of support. So I do feel so much support coming through here for this group. I do feel like that there is some sort of connection highlighted here. As to whether it's going to be romantic or not is, is another story. But we have Bouquet and Dark Man. So Bouquet says compliments from an admirer. And Dark Man says dealings or relationship with a man with a dark complexion or dark hair. So... I do feel like for some of you there might be a supportive male energy or masculine energy coming in for you guys. Okay, um, this could be a compliment from somebody uh, that's coming in that's going to make you feel really good as well. Maybe for some of you, you're going to be able to kind of um, make an impact on someone, but I feel like mostly this is somebody coming in for you. Okay, so let's find it out a little bit more. What kind of blessing is coming in for group number six? Ooh, we have the Queen of Cups. <coughs> And the lovers. Okay, so I do, <clears throat> I do feel as if there is some sort of supportive element here. And again, it does seem to me like there could be a romantic element for some of you. Because we have the lovers and it says embrace true love and deep intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart, vibrant health, or recovery from an illness. So that's quite interesting. Of course, maybe for some of you that might be a message here. Now, the Queen of Cups can talk about loving, compassionate, psychic, psychic, sorry, psychic. I'm trying to read self-sacrificing and psychic at the same time. Not, yeah, I'm, I'm jumping ahead. Psychic, self-sacrificing, deep psychic insights, caring for others, but forgetting to take care of yourself. Trust your intuition, a deep love of family and friends, and follow your heart. This is interesting. I feel like you might get some sort of direction in regards to a relationship. There might be some sort of... There is something here strongly in regards to connection. And I do feel like this could indicate love for some of you, but it could be a close friend. 
Interesting. So the Two of Swords, being unable or unwilling to make a decision, follow your own heart rather than trying to make others happy, pretending there is no problem, or overanalyzing a situation. That's interesting. Huh. What blessings coming in? Well, I could see a relationship of some kind coming in. That's what I feel like for the majority of you, this is going to be some sort of relationship. Now as to whether it's going to be a friendship or more, that's hard to say. Um, this could be, you know, an existing relationship becoming more supportive, more clear. Let me ask a little bit more about the two of swords. That was bad. Okay. The moon. There's clarity here. Revelations that make everything clear. And there's the two of swords where things aren't so clear. Okay, so there's something coming in that's going to sort of make you wiser. Make you know how to deal with something. Someone might reveal themselves in some way as an admirer of yours, by the way. I think that's what a blessing might be for some of you. Um, so some of you might have somebody um, admit that they have a crush on you or that they like you in some way. Of course, this could be a partner that's becoming more supportive and clear with you as well. If you have been having difficulty in partnership. Um, this could also be a new friend for some of you coming in. We have temperance, blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary. Successful compromise, the power of diversity, self-control, patience, and balance. So we, again, we kind of have this focus of yourself and others, perhaps. So this could be about you creating something with somebody. Um, having more... Wow. Okay, so there's definitely something about another person coming in, blending the ideas. Again, I think that there could be some sort of good discussion that comes up that gives you a clarity in regards to relationship. Okay, so if you've been feeling confused in relationship, that might be what's coming in as some sort of clarity, some sort of support. I think it goes in your favor in terms of what you want to happen deep down. So again, there could be for some of you somebody admitting um, to some sort of feelings for you as an example too. Um... There could be a contract of some kind. You could be doing some sort of work with a friend, okay? With the de real dealings or relationship with the dark complexion or hair. Again, this could be some sort of partnership coming in. Not romantic, but maybe there's some sort of business idea or something like that. Um, maybe for some of you, that's you and it's a woman. It doesn't have to be. Don't fa focus on genders too much, again. Um, but I think that there is some something here. Now, for some of you, like, I really do feel like it's not romantic. Um... I just feel like it could be some sort of partnership of some kind in terms of like creating something, some sort of creation of something. Maybe there's a mentor aspect to it. Maybe someone's like uh, trying to support the other in some way. Um, like someone trying to support you as an example, lift you up in some way as a friend. But for others of you, that's going to be kind of in your relationship. So it kind of depends on what's been difficult for you um, particularly or what you know you kind of are looking for because some of you are already probably trying to manifest something in regards to what this energy is so definitely pay attention to that but um there's some sort of clarity where there's been a lack of clarity so and i think it is quite supportive so if you've been wanting to know something about another they might open up to you about something again there could be um, a collaboration of sorts coming in whether it's romantically or, or maybe more oriented towards creation, the creation of something um, as well. But this is nice. Compromises come in. So if, you, if you've had yourself at odds with somebody and you haven't been able to find a compromise, this could be about finding that balance and compromise as well. If that's been something that's been weighing you down, it might be that an agreement's made that's really going to help, help you <laughs> in some way. Okay? Um, so that's kind of what I'm seeing. It does feel like quite a lot of different messages here, although I think the overall message is quite consistent in terms of like another person kind of coming in and offering some sort of clarity or support, and that's going to be a blessing to you in some way. Um, but yeah, like I think the way it's going to happen for everyone is going to be quite different depending on what you're needing, wanting, manifesting in your life. But uh, yeah, hopefully this is clear and you know pay attention to what your heart says when you hear these words Does something come to your mind as an example? What is it? That's probably what you're gonna find the blessing in but anyway Take care of yourselves and lots of love to you all. Hopefully this reading was helpful Let me know in the comments below what you thought but otherwise I hope to see you all in a future reading. Take care